Welcome to uh, MAP 142 uh, at Whatcom for summer 23, um, the year. And my name is Chuck Devangie. I'm going to be your instructor for this course. And uh, I uh, have been an, an adjunct instructor at Whatcom for uh, over 20 years. I teach in the Bellingham School District, currently at Bellingham High School as well. And I teach math. That's what I do all day, everywhere that I go. So uh, <laughs> it's great. I just wanted to take a quick minute, uh, introduce you to WAMAP in case you haven't used it before, talk about the course as well. So there'll be some specific things to this course, my expectations as well as uh, using WAMAP. Um, I like WAMAP a lot. It's, it's very robust. Um, we can do all of our assessments on it. It's easy to write messages back and forth and type in math in it. It's, uh, it, it's much better for math uh, than Canvas is in my opinion. So that's why we use it. So this course is all laid out. Right now we're looking at uh, student view, what you should be able to see when you log on. And uh, you'll notice I have announcements. Uh, hopefully you've read these. These will come out every week just to help you think about um, what the week's going to look like. I'll add other things too if things come up. And then it's broken out into weeks, week, week one, week two, etc. You've probably already looked at this day one here since you're watching this video right here. That's weird. Um, so it's laid out in weeks, and let's take a look at a typical week. Here's week one, and a um, little announcement here talking about what it's going to be like. Each of these are uh, basically lectures and assignments. So each of these would be something you should do in a certain day. There's the lecture. You can click on it, listen to me talk some more recorded. Um, there's some homework to do. These are This is assignments. This is practice that I want you to do, and then additional videos in case you need them. Um, in case you want them. And so these would be all the lectures for the week. And if you look in quizzes and forum, we have a forum and a practice quiz this week that need to get done. And the due dates are always right here on them. And I'll talk more about details of that uh, when I get a little bit later into the, into the instruction, into the explanation. Looking at week two, pretty similar, right? Here's the, um, here's the lectures with the assignment that goes with it, and then uh, quizzes and forums that happen that way. So let's take a look at this thing that says resources. There's several pieces in here. Um, sometimes it's collapsed, sometimes it's not. And let's start with that syllabus. So for this class, uh, 142, here is my email to Wacom. And you can use that if you want. I'd actually rather that you don't. I'd rather that you use uh, the mail, the messaging in WAMAP. Um, this is what I'll have open most often. I, checking my Wacom email doesn't happen regularly for me, but I check WAMAP constantly. Uh, and constantly is just a little bit of an exaggeration. So messages, if you click on messages, you could pick someone to send something to. Uh, I'm going to send a new message. You could choose who to send it to. Um, there's only one person in the course right now, so you could send it to me. Subject matter. What I really like about it, though, is uh, if you look here, add new math, you can type things uh, in math in here. Like if I would say uh, 3 to the Fourth um, divided by 17, let's see, 17 is the square root of x. It will come across like as we would write it mathematically, which is, um, again, one of the reasons why I really enjoy using, uh, using WAMAP. So anyway, send me messages through messaging, through the message on WAMAP. That'll get you the quickest response. Back to the syllabus. Uh, lots of descriptions about the course, uh, that sort of thing. Here is when our exams happen. That's on the class calendar as well. And these are online exams and they, they're timed. I'll talk a little bit more about them as well in a minute. Um, this is not a self-paced course. Course, You'll see that when we look at the, um, there's some flexibility, but I do have a, a schedule with, with due dates on it. Um, one thing that I really want to emphasize to everyone, this important note right here, uh, the class ends on the final. The, the final is final. Um, and all work, everything must be submitted by essentially midnight, the, the night before the final. So if you're trying to turn something in late, you're using a late pass, that sort of thing, I won't accept it um, the day of the final or after that. That is the, the cutoff of this class. So. Um, be warned, I often get at least one person telling me they didn't realize that. Um, please realize it and remember it. 
this is how it's going to break down your grade. Um, your midterm 30%, final 75 practice quizzes and forums, time quizzes. The homework, that's the assignment that I showed you in the calendar. It's not graded. It's really good practice, though. Do, do your practice. Uh, the midterm and the final, both of these are online. And uh, what the thing about them being online is um, it's open all day during that day. I think these dates are wrong. I'm going to change those dates on this. Um, they're open all day. So the day of the midterm, it opens up at 8 a.m. and it's, it stays open until 10 p.m. And you can take it any time in that in that uh, time span, but you have to get it done in in uh, two hours. It's, it's like one sitting, so you can't pause it. Once you start it, the clock starts ticking. You have that long to get it done. And both the midterm and the final close at 10 o'clock. So no matter when you start it, uh, it closes at 10. So if you start the test at 9.30 p.m., you only get a half hour to work on it. Okay, a couple other pieces here. Practice quizzes and forums. Practice quizzes. They are um, basically things I think you should know how to do. And you get uh, four tries on each problem on practice quizzes. It's not timed. You just get like to get this practice in and done. Practice quizzes lead into timed quizzes. Timed quizzes are 20% of the grade. Timed quizzes, uh, if you're doing the practice quiz and you do well, you're ready for the timed quiz. They're very similar, just, just so you know. Timed quizzes are timed. Uh, two hours, you should not need two hours for it. Forums, I'll ask you to uh, respond to a question. Please respond to the prompt that's being asked. Please use your own words as well. Don't, don't um, copy and paste stuff. I want to know what you think about it. On forums, I also ask you to respond to another person's, um, another person's post. The other thing I want to point out is the calendar. And notice it says it's a printable calendar. Print it out. Um, I formatted this for you so that you will know exactly when everything's going on. So as I look at this, um, I notice that like here's week one, these pieces, 6.1, 5.1, those are the, uh, the lectures and the homework for that day. Things that are italicized or things that are due when they're due, you can always do them early, that sort of thing. And then if the college is closed or something like that. So it is all laid out. Um, this is a summer course. It's going to be pretty intense. It's, it's, uh, we have a lot that the course asks us to cover uh, in a pretty small amount of time. So um, just heads up, summer course, it's going, to be, uh, it's going to be a bit of work. It's going to be a lot to it. So um, six late passes are granted to each student. So you get six late passes. So what late passes do is they um, extend uh, a due date, and they, you can only use them on practice quizzes and timed quizzes, not on forums, uh, not on exams or midterms. You get six of them, um, and, you know, it happens. Things fall behind. Um, that is okay. Just use them if you need them. You can't use them after the, af after the um, last day of the final either. So... Um, one thing about this, I release weeks at least a week and a half ahead of time. So if you want to work ahead, work ahead. Um, I strongly suggest if you can, you do. It's it's nice to be in that sort of uh, situation. All right. Hey, if you have questions about anything, I'm not sure how to do this. I think a test or quiz, I think I got it right and it was marked wrong. That could happen. Um, I do look at the quizzes. I do look at the answers. But there's an auto grader that grades it right away, and then I go in and double check it. So make sure that um, you can, you just ask me a question, and if it's wrong, I'll give you the points for it. I do look at all of them after they've been taken and try to make sure people get fair points. Additionally, on exams or finals, um, send me a copy of your, of your scratch notes, of, of your, just your scratch paper, so that I can give you partial credit if you've earned it. It's fair to you. Um, there may be sometimes a question where it says you have to um, you have to send me work as well. Make sure you do that, or you will not get credit for the problem. Okay, uh, last piece. Hey, my job is to make sure that you are ready to get through this course. That you know the materials you need to know, uh, all of the all of the skills. So I'm here to help you. Please message me, post things, post questions in the forums. Uh, let me know what you need. I'm looking forward to working with you. Thanks.